40 feet under there, now four, now four. Here lies less four, four shots from a 44. Now bid 4,400. All down, all through. Sold for 4,300 dollars. Sold for 4,300. Because I've never seen this in, ooh, it's here. It's here, okay. What the hell we got here? The balance remaining on your card is dollars. I gotta look at these for a minute because that's good. That's saying that this is on there. That's and if a person really is hoarding that type of stuff, that means there's great stuff in here. Your available account balance is dollars. I'm in love with this storage. And gentlemen, this is a trunk. It's locked. This is basically a safe. See how it's locked? On three, two, one. Get all those spider webs. Pirates of all ages, and I think it's Wednesday. We're gonna hit the bank. Very important. I don't like to carry all my cash on me, right? It's not a wise thing to do. I keep enough on me to function and so forth, but here we are at the bank. We gotta pull off some to go to an auction. We're meeting Locker Nuts again. We may, may not team up with him. I see a few units on my radar. Anyway, let's get in the bank. Bank of America, shut up. I don't come to this place very often. There's a lot of skepticism about this facility over the years and this company. Now, let's see what they got. Well, Jack, I forgot to get a little clip with you at the beginning of the auction because it was so too hectic talking to everybody, and I don't know how this place is about filming because they're all really weird. But I wanted to say, how do you feel about today? A little late. We bought a unit. How do you feel about this? Oh, uh, I always got that feeling. I always see. I'm different than you. I always get that feeling like I, I don't know, buyer's remorse. Like, oh, did I spend too much? Is it, uh, you know, like, oh, did we spend too much? Is this gonna be good? Is it gonna be a big dump load? I always get that. But I love it because that's a roller coaster. Yeah, you that's get the adrenaline of the bidding, and then you get the like uncertainty and the I, I guess it's fear. And then when you find good stuff, you find good stuff, then it brings you up to a new. Well, thing. in today's day and age, this is relatively normal price for a unit that looks like this online. I was telling Aziz, this is probably like seven or more. He's like, I don't know what you guys see, but <laughs> but. He's like, he, he's like, oh, look, you only have a $100 TV right there. Well, I mean, that's decent for a $100 TV. What I like about this place, because you don't really, I don't really always trust this place. Everything's yeah. sealed. They didn't go through here. You watch the other units. Yep. They look completely moved around. We got good quality things. And this Donnie Osmond doll, which I, or Marie Osmond, which I just looked. 100 at 1500 I don't know if that's what's in that box, but that's been stuck in my head. Because where we're going next, you see all those. So there's potential just... Should we look and see if there's something in there, or we just wait? Oh, Do we want to know? Uh, it's right there. You can see the name on it? Yeah, see, look, come look right here. Here, It says, Marie Osmond Fine Collectibles. Okay. Huh. And then people who, these are not, ch your, these are not cheaper patio furniture. Yes, this is a little yeah. sun weathered. There's a china hutch, and actually, that's not a china hutch. Now that I look at it, it is just a full curio cabinet. Come look at that. That means they got, they yeah. got something in it. Uh-huh. And that's Ooh, probably man. her doll. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So I, I don't think we really... It's from La, Los Amelitos, California. I like these. They seem like a little bit nicer. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm, I'm really... 
I'm really, really thinking that there's some good stuff in here. Oh, yeah. look at those Christmas ornaments, Jack. You like Christmas ornaments, right? Mm -hmm. Linux. I, oh. I think I think that we. If you if you profile this, you know, look at the people. They have this, so they might have had an oil painting of their family in the oh, front yeah. foyer, or they have a good expensive painting. Not everybody has these type of things. These but are it like. Also means you got a big house. Yeah, they're good accent pieces. Yeah. Look at the dust on here. Carbon date and that. It, I like the way this looks. See, it's all good stuff. I think this was a wise purchase. Looks like the jewelry box right there. Okay, mm. we're, we're, we're going down the right road, though. Well, I, I can promise there is gold in this unit. I can promise you we're going to find some. Look at this. Bailey, Banks, and Biddles. That sounds expensive. Yeah. First Republic, they had a nice... Um, and a mortgage. We did good. Okay, what anybody says comment below if you think you would bid 4300 on this unit this i like right here oh yeah this this that's our security system right here mm -hmm. good kitchen teapot a little file ball i'm i'm really excited to be honest with you there they move with a moving company you know that's what got me right please be something better than just the china painting Looks like a china painting, but that could be good, Jack. Look at that. Just peek in, that, in there. In that thing looking, isn't it? That looks good. Yeah. It, that's probably what hung on there, maybe. This, I think that's at least a few hundred, even if it's a made in China one. It's a see. The doll is what intrigued me. Because yeah. I've never seen this. And ooh, ooh, it's here. It's here. Right, Look at the dust. Marion Young Love. <laughs> it looks like the ones you were pulling up yeah the really expensive ones and now we can at least reference an idea because this is going to be a newer-ish one and i guess they look, might have signature editions and stuff like that okay i'm i'm digging that though it's a good, it's a good yeah. i like there'll it. be some gold in here a lot of freaking boxes jack I'm... there's a lot of boxes it's in the very back corner Boxes still. Right now, I'm pretty freaking excited. We bought an interesting unit, right? Like we bought, I think, a pretty good unit, Jack and I. We paid a little bit much, 4300 in a place I'm a little skeptical about. But the fact is, they didn't get to go in that one if they are a little bit uh, shady. Another guy bought one there, and his case that was supposed to be a silver case, you can clearly see all the handprint moving the dust off it, which there tells me something isn't right, right? You know that. But you have to also know that they don't go, every, even a crooked facility does not go through every unit because they believe the person might pay at the last minute. Today, they didn't, so that works in your advantage. Let that be a lesson. If you ever worried about somebody being crooked, study what's going on, okay? So now we're on to the next one. Ooh. You know what else is Guaranteed to have a place to sleep tonight if you're buying this one. Right, outside. Mm -hmm. Some furniture. Perfect, guys. Perfect, perfect. Last couple sets of eyes. Getting a peek. Some firewood. And that is a wrap for today's auction. That one, and a good dad's probably buy if I was desperate for merchandise or something or make a video, but it's really just furniture. No hidden surprises. 450 on that. Where's the profit margin? Where's the surprise? Anyway, that man I was just talking to. He bought the first one with the flatware cases, right? And he actually says that that was part of my unit. It's the same owner. And there was actually half sterling inside of his uh, flatware cases. So it was stainless and sterling. That's a good sign. That means already we know that there's some of the potential because they didn't go in there. And see how my mind told me the dust on there meant gone through? That's what I'm talking about. People don't always know. Anyway, that was a good day. Let's go do what we got to do. Maybe Jack wants to film. If not, don't forget the like button, share button, subscribe. Say something pretty like. Yep. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, pirates of all ages. Quick intro. I don't know if I'll use this before or we'll use this all, but we bought this unit, Jack and I. $4,300. Yes. There's no words need to be said. It's just, it looks great. It does. It looks good. And our friend bought the other one same owner which we found out only afterwards and he said that one's looking really good yeah so the, the silver out. cases that i was talking down because the handprints he said was half full of silver
That's all I gotta say. This looks great. Mm -hmm. It's very intriguing. Alright. Jack already uh, said in his video, and uh, I will say as well, the spider webs. This is a sure sign that people have not gotten too much into this unit. You can see open top boxes. Somebody is at some point when they be looking for something. You see furniture pads, you see moving blank uh brown paper pads, you see really well packed stuff and quality items. Now you see really well taken care of stuff. That's the stuff you want to gamble. That's the stuff you want to spend the money on is when there's real good intent. They were moved by uh uh for the starving students or that trucks what is this mm. box two men, in truck. two men in a truck yeah lots of videos coming out of this you'll go to jack's channel locker nuts you are obviously on my channel hit the like share subscribe button if you don't already anyway let's get pillaging i'm gonna go through this box that we saw with the little jewelry box and is it falling apart oh, no. No. all right let's see we opened this up a little bit a minute ago might as well go through it too, Jack. We'll just go through it together. Okay. Grab stuff. This intrigued us right here, and now I'm more excited to find jewelry because this tells me that there was some type of jewelry in here. Which means we might find the jewelry box with all the jewelry. Those are weird little cases. They were creating something. Yeah. Crafting of some Crafters. form. This, our little phasing off timer christmas light things maybe or something you put some little lights on things that's the type of stuff we might be lotting out forever fragrant what is this to put fragrance in your shoes that's you already know you got problems if you're doing that uh-oh one dollar jack uh -oh. yeah In my opinion, this is a catch-all box. Okay, this is a First Republic Bank. 25 years of exception. Maybe that's the bank. 25 years. I was sitting there client for 25 years. This person lives in Danville. I don't want to show on the camera, but... In multiple homes. Or they moved around a lot. Dang, this is broke. That would have been nice. Woulda. Woulda. Shoulda. Could have. Uh, I'll have to break up my welding torch. Photos. It's a cool little Dora chair. Sensor twinkle, photo sensor steady, on twinkle. That's weird. It's broken. Okay, this is not a bad box for a first box for a catch all that's open. We got a Dura flame log. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 1992. Okay. Hasbro. Okay. What the hell we got here? That was in that bag? Yeah. Okay, we gotta look a little closer, I guess. Well, not just look closer, but what if these have money on them, Jack? Yeah. How do I know? Uh, we're gonna have to call them. Valid through 819. That sucks. I don't think they can uh, expire them though. They can put that stuff on there. I don't think they're supposed to be expired. This is a gift card. It's illegal to expire them. There's laws that they enacted. Um, but it doesn't look like they're activated, but we'll have to scan them. Yeah, I don't know. How, what do I do? Can I call one right now? Yeah. Let me call one. The letter out says I'm not only coughing up huge wads of thick green mucus, but also it's large clots of blood. That's not good. That is not good. The balance remaining on your card is fifteen dollars. Again, the remaining balance the remaining is balance fifteen, is 15 dollars. There's four of those. So. To receive the balance of another gift card, press one. Oh, Just... Let's see here. Let's keep. Let's keep. I'm gonna, I gotta look at these for a minute because that's good. That's saying that this is on there. That's and if a person really is hoarding that type of stuff, that means there's great stuff in here. Your available account balance is. $100. To hear your you hear that? Again. <laughs> that would look weird. That's a thumbnail, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Gift cards in abandoned storage unit. Boom, look at that. Oh All right. Goodness. That's a lot, Jack, because if you think about it, look. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 75, 50, uh, 50, 50, 50, 25, 25, and that one said 100, so there's no telling if that's 100 or 20, but 
That's freaking amazing because I've never found that many gift cards in a storage unit. That's like a thousand bucks almost right there. Don't you think? Close to it. Where was that? Right here? Yeah. Go back in here again. I'm looking for some more. What am I got? Um, Santa Moon. Uh, she was dying of something. I Look put aside this. the couple letters. They seem a little crazy. Ugh. Ha! You know what that is? She was dying of cancer. This is, um, I'm not going to get into it, but you know why I have full custody, right? What is it? Fentanyl. Oh. Fentanyl. These are fentanyl patches. We do not want to touch these with our bare hands because you could even get really, really intoxicated from a fentanyl patch and possibly... Yeah. yeah. People have been dying left and right lately because people are going around and f lacing Norcos and on the streets people are buying them. What unit isn't complete without panties? Those are Marilyn Monroe's right there. I'm, phew, I'm in love with this unit. I'm in love with this storage. Okay. Guess we'll just call that personal. We kind of peeked in this box. Got us a little inspired. One thing that's great is we both do very well on Christmas ornaments. And these aren't cheap ones. This is Linux. And I don't know about this village set, but I can tell you the little woman would be Lady Gaga for ones that look like that. This is a tree topper. It's a little damage on the top there. Let's feel that. That's broken. But still. Nordstrom's, Lennox, etc., etc. It's a little table. That's kind of cute. That is cool. A little chest little table. And cool. then. Okay, what is this? Wow. Feel how heavy that is. Okay. This is a Found desk. I bought an abandoned storage unit. <laughs> this is nice. That's cute, you know. I don't know what market will if we'll do this a market or if you know this is something Jack probably say Facebook marketplace, right? Um I don't know if we get that much. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is a trunk. It's locked. This is basically a safe. See how it's locked? On three, two, one. Get all those spider webs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Taxes. Oh, she loved her hair, cat. I don't know why. I don't know how I end up saying hair, cat. That's boomer's hair. That's crazy. That is gross. Keep their cat's hairs. Freaking pirate map. We may have found a treasure. Because look, that's a. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get that out. Oh yeah, we got to We gotta know what's on there. Found pirate map in abandoned storage unit. Oh, dear auntie, we are having a sold all three of them. Okay, this is boring. Guys, right, I'm gonna ask you guys a joke. Okay, here's one. Dumb dictionary. Megahertz. What you feel? What you feel when a computer falls on your foot? Water polo. A sport you need a horse, a seahorse for. The dad jokes. Who won the monster beauty contest, Jack? Uh, the prettiest ghoul? No one. They're all monsters. None of them are pretty. Oh. What smells the most on a monster? His nose. Ah. <laughs> okay. B-A-U, Bao Furniture Company, Los Alamitos, California. I cannot actually find a piece for sale, but the word bow that's associated with furniture is really expensive. B-A-U. If you look right here, Bao, I don't know if this is the same thing, but that little uh, table set's 12 grand. This chair, hopefully find one of those, is seven thousand eight hundred. I've never sold a chair for seven thousand eight hundred yet. That would be a nice one. Anyway, that's intriguing. I want to see that. Eight fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, okay. All right. We're piecing it together. Yeah. Okay. I haven't done a good breaking video. You want to break an expensive teapot? No, I no? don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get to even, then we can break some stuff. Village Villaray and Bach made in Germany from fine China. That sounds good. I want to know how did China end up becoming the pseudonym for all things China? <laughs> like, you know what? I want to know how this all transpired back in the day because now everything China is not good, but back then it's called your fine China. Yeah. Like, who? Please explain in the comments if you know. 
Oh, I don't shop at the fancy stores. It's okay. good. It looks good, right? I guess we'll see what that's all about, too. That's not bad without a milk jug. I think we're pretty safe after that. Something's in there. I don't think that's especially high end. Yeah, that's a hundred dollar buck, so isn't it? I don't know. It looks like the knobs. That is a wrap on this video. I'm gonna have plenty more. So would this guy Locker Nuts. He has several on his channel. You can see we just peeled back the layer of mattresses, and it's nothing but pleasure coming out from here on out. I see, I see probably 200 boxes that we get to unbox. I can't tell if there's more furniture back here. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. But look, that looks. I'm safe to say. I feel like. Honestly, his unit he got was mainly all of the box of the furniture and they yeah. put boxes and we got lucky and we literally scored all the boxes. I'm excited, Jack. What can you say before I uh, end this? I'm excited. It's the amount of money makes me nervous. I don't I probably only spent that much for like what, maybe three times? That's generally with me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, but right now I'm not I'm not nervous anymore. Not nervous anymore. Yeah, now I'm excited.